The views and opinions expressed on any programme are those of the producers and or the persons appearing on the programme and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of FRC Media, Bristol Community College or the City of Fall River. Good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of uh, Table Topics. And uh, if you're watching this show on a Wednesday, it is a pre-taped show, but it is our official day to air. Uh, if not, uh, catch another show the, the following week. So I probably got through that already. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> you did it. So if you're watching the show and it, it's not a Wednesday, it's because you you're watching a repeat show. Yeah. So please come back next Wednesday and we will have a brand new show for you. Cool. So you're almost there. Yeah, getting there, getting it's, there. I don't know, maybe you, you someday. Remind me when I was back in school that I had to memorize. Yeah, no, you know, I know, I should have lines, right? And talk to right? the class, then I, I will look to a kid and I, I will freeze. Yeah. I forget everything <laughs> that I had to say. <laughs> I, I got to write it down. That'll be the next one. I, uh, need, I need cue cards or monitors yeah, yeah. like Biden, yeah, like President yeah, Biden. Yeah. I need to have those monitors. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and uh, some, some cards saying, just read what's on the paper. Don't yeah. go off script. Yeah. Th and that was another one. And then they, that yeah, was another practice. Then they read it. <laughs> yeah. Then they read it. Oh, no, going off. But sometimes we have had some people that read, actually don't read this, and they read it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. That always work, uh, works fine when, uh, when it's like a comedy uh, movie. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You know, that yeah. those lines usually yeah. works fine. But, um, okay, so since, since we just uh, brief talked on, uh, on Biden, so um, yeah. well, you know what, let me what you thought about the, uh, the speech? Uh, the State of the Union? Yes. I, I'm, not, there, I'm right? not impressed by State of the Unions. I, I mean, I listened to it because I wanted to see, but yeah, I'm not impressed mm -hmm. by that at all. Um, I mean, some of it was kind of comical. Um, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, we, we need to close the border kind of thing. It's mm -hmm. like, you're the one that's opened the border. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so and uh, the Republicans uh, screaming and uh, uh, screaming at him and everything yeah. that that was fun too. Well, that so a lot of memes pictures now on Facebook uh, with her screaming, but not at uh, yeah. not at Biden. Yeah. So well, they take that. Yeah, they take that <laughs> exactly on that. But what I find interesting is on MSNBC, uh, James Carville, mm. he used to be like a Democratic strategist. He was calling that individual white trash. Mm. Uh, so I thought that was kind of interesting that you can yeah. kind of demean people yeah. on the air like that. That was uh, that was interesting, you know. But yeah, I mean, it, and and we already mentioned this a couple of times at different shows that really at this point that the, I mean, doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, um, they don't have the the tags, the red and and uh, or the blue tag on them. Um, if if you remove the tag, you don't know what party they belong yeah, because they exactly. Yeah. You know, they both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what was, no, they're both the same. I, but it's interesting, this Freedom Caucus, part of the Republican Party, mm -hmm. they're the ones that held up the speakership. Um, they are actually holding hearings, which I found one was very interesting. Uh, it was on uh, government accountability, I think, mm -hmm. is the title. And they had the Twitter executives that were there that mm -hmm. have been since fired by Elon Musk. And uh, they admitted that the government was sending them texts, get rid of this account, knock this account off, knock mm -hmm. this account off. Also, what was interesting is one of the um, congressmen from South Carolina said, you cut people off, um, doctors that went to Yale and Stanford, you cut them off Twitter and silenced them about COVID information. Mm -hmm. And you had no right to do that. And they were all just sitting there like there's in a headlight, you yeah. know. Um, but yeah, it was interesting to see that they worked with the FBI and these different uh, intelligence organizations saying knock off this account or this account's doing that. Mm -hmm. um, one, one of them I noticed, the person had 300 people on Twitter. They had 300 followers and they wanted that account knocked off. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's funny, it's a game we're playing because yeah. during that the Republicans were saying this is unacceptable and the Democrats were saying this is all a big conspiracy theory. The Twitter files, so-called Twitter files are all a big conspiracy theory when it's right there in writing. Mm -hmm. So uh, th there is a difference in this section, at least, with well, some of these people. Well, um, um, a bunch of uh, Republicans are not happy with the, um, 
Speaker of the House because he didn't rip the uh, the the speech. Are they really expecting yeah. him no, to do they that? No, they didn't want him to rip the speech. Oh. They, they knew he wasn't going to do it. They were mad because he was making faces. <laughs> and he really, to me, he kept his composure through the whole yeah. thing. you got to sit there and listen. Well, you know? for the fact that he did rip the the speech, he, he got some credits from me because you don't do the same thing and expect different results. Yeah, yeah. He will, he will go, he, he will, if he, he going to do that, you are going to be a fool just like she yeah. was. Yeah. Okay. So. Wow. That's a, that's big from you. No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the thing. What's right? It's right. Yeah. And, yeah. And that's respecting the seats. Yeah. Independent if it's Donald Trump or yeah. Joe Biden. Yeah. They hold the seats. Absolutely. They probably they probably doing bad. Yeah. But us as Americans, yeah. we need to respect the seat. Yeah. And doesn't matter who's there. I don't think was right that she did to Donald Trump. Like yeah. I would not support him doing, doing it. to Joe yeah, Biden. Exactly. You know. Yeah. So um, and, and that that's what it is. I, I think that's what this country is losing to is the respect for the seats for oh the yeah. for the president. Yep. You know, yeah. we losing a lot of respect for the president, yeah. just like we losing respect for the police. Yes. Like we losing. So we lose a, a lot of things that if you go 50 years back was uh, anything could happen. Yeah. But this will not lose the respect. Yeah. OK. Now, 50 years later, it's it, it's upside down. You yeah. know, now it's. Uh, yeah. It, but it's that way because people has, have lost confidence in some things. Mm. So you have these people speaking before from Twitter saying that they were working in cahoots with the government. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what we say that happens in Russia and China? Mm -hmm. And it's happening right here, but they're saying, no, that's not happening, absolutely not. Mm. Um, but I wanna switch gears a little bit. This is not really in the news, but it's starting to come out now. There was a big explosion of chemicals I think it's in East Palisades, Ohio. It's on the Ohio Pennsylvania I line. I saw a picture, I believe. Yeah. And it looked like a mushroom cloud, like a nuclear bomb. I blew saw up. a picture, something like for River Got Ready, something like that. Um, well, I, I did see that, but what I think this person was, that was not a joke. Yeah. I think what they were concerned of is that this is going to pass in the air. Eventually it will come here if it's not here already, because they have tracked. Um, down the, I think it's the Ohio River into Cincinnati, which is probably a couple hundred miles south, they've tracked where there's that contaminant in the water and it's killing fish even at that far distance away. Mm -hmm. uh, the folks were told to go back to their homes. There's nothing to worry about after they exploded, the, this chemicals exploded because of the railway that's not being maintained. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so it just, it's interesting that when the secretary of transportation is at a meeting he's complaining about um there are too many um certain group of people as construction workers mm -hmm. he's more worried about that than a chemical explosion that just who knows what's going to happen mm -hmm. in a couple months oh, you know uh, well and and the thing is cover-ups what that what that is is cover-ups it's yep. you know don't we're not going to talk about to yep. see if that goes it's by go and away. people yeah. people uh, are going to but, it, but Stop it's... Stop talking about. Yeah, and it, and it didn't get much coverage at all. Mm -hmm. I think I saw something on it today on Fox. Mm -hmm. I've seen nothing on MSNBC or nothing on um, CNN as well. Mm -hmm. So it's... Uh, they'll slowly start because everybody's going to pick up on it, but what that happened a week ago. Well, yeah, <laughs> so when... <laughs> And, and you know that the news that's something that we always say oh we saw advanced the news it's something that happens you know an yeah. hour later the, the entire world yeah, knows you know everything you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. knows everything so it's funny that it's fast we know a, a news faster that happened in china yeah that something that really happened inside our country yep yeah probably you're right <laughs> You're you right. Know? You probably would read. That's why I look. I watch France 24. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the English version, obviously. I'll be surprised yeah. if this is big news in another country. Yeah. Yeah, it probably is. Because they're always following us. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, but for us, it's like keep them quiet yeah. and yeah. Uh, yeah. this will it's go away. Yeah. People's gonna even if people get cancer, they will survive 30 years. So they they yeah. will never know that they were dying from this. Yeah. No, it's sad. <laughs> it's just I think, like you said. 
the, the respect has been lost, but especially over the last like 10 years, mm -hmm. it's happened because people are not getting told the truth mm -hmm. with different things. Mm -hmm. So I was watching a, a show this Sunday, and I can't remember which show it was, but they were talking about the balloons that are coming in here. Mm -hmm. So we let a balloon come into our airspace, go all the way through the country, and you blow it up off the coast of South Carolina, which is pretty populated, so there's boats all over the place, right? Mm -hmm. We let that happen. Who knows, could, it, could they have been spraying some kind of virus? Could they be spraying some kind of poison on us? Who knows, or mm -hmm. could it be an EMP, which you go over and it knocks all your power out and it takes years to get it back? Mm -hmm. We're not taking this serious. All I heard was, oh, the last administration that happened four times. The last administration's not in. I don't care about what happened. Well, four times because and then they said that they never heard it the intelligence agencies never told him and the coverage that this thing got was yeah. just uh, a two minute on on the news oh yeah then okay. it got then it became more. but do you remember about 10 years ago somebody built us this huge balloon and the balloon took off with a six-year-old inside do you okay. remember that? That a huge where, where mushroom. Did, where did where did the balloon go? Was in the on the U.S. Oh, okay. The, this guy was building this balloon, whatever, yeah, and yeah. was tied by uh, by something. Yeah. But I guess somehow the the six year old got inside and the balloon oh, got it lost. Took off. Oh, okay. Took off and yeah. I mean that was live. Yeah. Every station. Yeah. yeah. On the country. Yeah. Was showing that live. Yeah. Okay. But now we have something like that that could be terrorism. Yeah. And Nobody it's a knows. two minute it's a it's a picture on the news yeah, yeah and but my thing is i don't care what happened under the uh, other administration because uh, uh, administration officials have said we never knew that mm. so it's not hard to believe that that was hidden mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah you know at the time but what's interesting with that like i said is they don't take it serious and now it's it's a ufo yeah it's a ufo what do you mean a ufo yep <laughs> yeah <laughs> So it, 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 there are so many crazy things happening right now, and I, I understand people not wanting to ke keep up with it. But uh, my, my concern is, at one point, if we let it go, yeah. if we let it go, and if we let it go, at one point, it's like a parent that lets a kid do whatever he wants. Yeah. You lose it. Comes to a point that you lose it. Yeah. Yeah. You have no control. Yeah. You lose the control. Then what do you do? You call the police, take him away because, you know, I cannot take care of him. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, if you think that you, that you can ed educate him better than me, just take him away. Yeah. The problem was you are not there from the beginning. You will let it go. Things yeah. go that you're not supposed to let it go. Exactly. So now you lose the control. So my concern is we letting so much go that... Yeah. That's what this country is about. That's yep. how this country was built. Yep. That we become, we will come to a point that all, all that we fight for, yeah. it's, it's gone. Yeah. Oh, no. It's I gone. Mean, but that's, I mean, yeah. And the Americans, uh, and, the, uh, and when I'm talking about the Americans, I'm talking the, the, the 10 generations yeah. Americans yeah. born here. Not me, you, that we came from another country. You know, um, but going back, generations that were born here, okay, uh, they don't have a country. Yeah. They have somebody else's country, whatever they came from. Could be somebody from France, could be somebody from China, could be somebody from anywhere. And he's gonna look around and say, you know, where, where's my tradition? Where, where the American traditions are. Those are all. They're already those, gone. Those are all. I mean, they're already gone now. Those are all they're already bad. Gone. Mm -hmm. Christopher Columbus was bad. I think <laughs> we talked about this before. Vasco da Gama is bad. All yeah. these people are bad. Mm -hmm. But you're right. You can't say that. Yep. You know what I mean? You just mm -hmm. can't. But that. But you're right. That's kind of changed, and that's why you see that from a, yep. from an older generation. I've seen so much, just in being born in the '60s, mm -hmm. to see what has transpired, really starting i think in in the 2000s 2000 mm -hmm. wasn't bad but it just got progressively where 2010 to now it is it's a changed country here well whatever they can change to make a their way like laws and stuff like that they actually can change yep. but when they're going to go deep and they're going to go into the constitution 
and start changing things on the Constitution, yeah. that's where the problem is going to be even even bigger. Yeah. Okay. And 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 it's people already trying. Yep. It's people already trying yeah. to 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 get into the the constitutions. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know what I thought was interesting. This came up uh, in Washington D.C. The city council wants you know you don't have to be a U.S. citizen to vote in their elections, their local elections. Mm -hmm. And somebody I was listening to made up a good point. In Washington, D.C., there's a lot of embassies mm -hmm. uh, there. That's pretty much every country has an embassy in there. Mm -hmm. So that means any of those countries could vote in the Washington, D.C. local election. They can affect what happens in D.C. Mm. That doesn't really sound like that's keeping us a sovereign country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know what I mean? If people that don't, uh, you know what I mean, are not citizens. Well, another thing that people need to, to have in consideration is every, every time that we have an embassy, we have employees that from that country yeah. that get paid by that country yeah. living in here with a working visa. Yeah. Okay? So because they have an ID to work here, yeah. are, are these people voting? Yeah. That's another question that needs to be well, we don't, we don't know. Find you know out. I mean? No, I, I think you have to be a U.S. citizen. Um, you know what I mean? You have to be a U.S. citizen. That's what they're going to say. The proof that they get is, gonna, is a different information. I'd like to see the proof that they get, you know, whether it be a birth certificate. I know when I've moved and registered to vote, people just say, give me your address. I don't think they ask for anything other than that. But it, it's... They probably got... They probably... At the, at the last 10 years, I think they probably got more you know, tight, Yeah. Uh, trying to, to verify voters. We don't have voter ID in the state. I can go in yeah, there. Yeah, but you, uh, uh, I mean, if you go vote, it's like you have three places to check in. Yeah, yeah. You have three places that have to match yeah. your address and, you know, I mean, if I'm going to go vote for, for somebody, I need to have the details of, of them. The oh, you need to know is their address. And, uh, the addresses and, and, and stuff like that. You don't think somebody... But I think, I think it's a good idea to, to show ID. I mean, you, you, you can do nothing today without an ID. Yeah, no, you know? no, but you can't, you, you know what I mean? That's, that's another third rail topic, you mm. know what I mean? Because you hear, like, people can't get IDs. So, you know what I mean? A lot of this stuff is just moved. People, no, people cannot get drive license. But yeah. they can get IDs. Yeah, but that's the thing that at some places don't And they don't need an ID. It. They don't need a drive license yeah. to vote. No, I, I, I hear you. <laughs> you I know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and for you to get an ID, you probably need two identifications that, you know, that identify it's you. Probably you only have one, but you can, you can be verified by your father or your mother's, yeah. you know, birth certificate or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it, it is ways. It, we just need to implement them, yeah. and but and and we need to we need to do something before it's too late, because you know the way w the way we're going, it's like it's not going to be the 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 United States. It's going to be the United World. Yeah. You know, so anybody can come in, open doors, and just come in and out when you feel like. Well, this is what people voted for <coughs> in the 2020 election. Be careful what you wish for, because that's what we get. Mm. <laughs> that's what uh, you get. It's it's <laughs> like it's too bad that it's not it it's never a perfect uh, combination. It's yeah. always something that it's twisted. Oh, I like this five, but I don't like that. Yeah. You know, so it it, w it would be good for us to have everything on the same. You never you're never gonna get that. You know, and there's and there's things about the last president I I have. A lot of qualms with that mm. I don't like mm. that were pushed mm. you know so but I mean comparing what th this country has gone you know what I mean whether people w want to say it or not mm -hmm. this country has gone down in the last two years mm -hmm. people that are low income are having a very difficult time and elderly paying for food mm -hmm. I, I mean I, I think last last week just two of me and my wife our bill was like hundred seventy dollars at the grocery store mm -hmm. I'm like, that is insane for two people. How are people doing it that have four people living in the house, five people mm -hmm. living in the house? So this inflation, and it's not getting any better. I heard it went up again. How are people, you know what I mean? You, your life can't be better. I don't care what people are saying. Your life is not better than it was two years ago. There's yeah. no way. I can tell you this. In this country, nobody will die for not having food. Well, that's true. Nobody. Yeah, that's true. 
Nobody yeah. will die for, ha for not having food. Yeah. Okay? You have plenty. We are a very small city compared to other cities. Yep. Okay? You probably have 10 different places that you can get food yeah. if you're hungry. <laughs> okay? Sure. You can knock in any restaurant yeah. if you're hungry. They will give you food. Yeah. Okay? So, these things that, oh, uh, uh, you want to donate $2 for the food pantry. For what? You know, the government pay for all of that. I already pay for all of that with my tax. You know, yeah. so I don't, I don't donate. I, I never donate when it comes to that. You know, I don't donate because we don't need it. Yeah. We are in a country that we don't need it. And we, when we run out of money, we print new money. Yeah, yeah. Period. Yeah, yeah. Well, well yeah, I mean, and that's going to come to root. That's, that's going to come home to us one day. And... And when we have something happens in a different country that they, you go to the stores and they ask you for a dollar, the donation, a five dollar donation, you never know if the money is going to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. You know, you're right. So uh, it's like uh, either way, right. you don't win. Yeah. Well, it's all uh, a lot of this stuff. Like we were talking about the Chinese balloons. What what state or what country is our biggest enemy? People always say, which one is it? Putin, Putin bad. I'm not saying he's good, mm -hmm. but Putin's not flying balloons over here right now. Mm -hmm. China is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, so everybody, everybody Putin has not, things deflected. He's not, he's not uh, uh, putting cheap stuff on our shelves for us to buy yeah. with, uh, with the, uh, knowing that uh, one year after we're going to need to replace it again <laughs> so they can have jobs. <laughs> that. Yeah. That's what it yeah. is. Oh, no, it's true. And until until the American people, okay, realizes that I'm going to pay an extra five dollars, but I'm going to buy something that's going to last me ten years yeah. instead of one year. Yeah. And my people is going to be yeah. having a job yeah. and having you know food on the table. We're never going to move from here yeah. because the intention is, is this: is to give you something, uh, hook you up with something that you have on that mentality that. Uh, I don't want to even buy uh, buy insurance for because guess what? If breaks, I can buy another one tomorrow. Yeah. But yeah. that only happens because we have the the, 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 the power to buy it. Yeah. That doesn't yeah. happen in Portugal. Yeah. And I can talk for Portugal. That doesn't happen in Portugal. They don't have the power of buying. Yeah. Okay. So whatever they buy, they they have to last a long time because yeah. they're only going to be a uh, able to afford once yeah so yeah. it's like one-time deal yeah okay so and that's the problem we have when we look for problems on other countries we forgetting our bigger problem is China yeah but it's not just because of war China but it's no. not big it's everything it's yeah. manpower it's it's money it's everything they're leaving like kings because of us working like dogs in here yeah. to buy a printer for 40 bucks, okay? <laughs> and then when you need ink, it's $55. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. You know, it's, it's true. It's got, it's got to that point. I think appliances, everybody knows. I have a refrigerator, knock on this, it's 25 years old. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had a few things go, like the ice maker and water maker don't work anymore. Uh, but it's still kicking. Mm -hmm. I mean, and you go to a, an appliance store, you're going to pay $2,000 for a decent refrigerator, mm -hmm. you know, unless you want to get a small apartment size. And what is that going to last? I mean, I bought appliances recently. I had a dishwasher that lasts for 10 years. When I was a kid, we had dishwashers. They lasted 30 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, and and, and uh, it's funny when they say, oh, but the Toyota, Toyota lasts a long time. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Toyota breaks, breaks a lot. Oh, really? I, I, oh, yeah, Toyota I, breaks a lot. It's funny you say that because the only cars I've had luck with are Toyotas. Yeah. Those are the only cars I had luck because with. Because I can tell you something. Mercedes is a better made than a Toyota. Yeah. Mercedes well, was made for a war. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, uh, that's... <laughs> you know, I, they, they, put, they put like a, they put like a, 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 a bus motor inside of yeah. a, a car. Yeah. You well, know? I, I can't, I don't really compare Toyota and Mercedes as a higher <coughs> class vehicle. You know what I mean? So oh, Toyotas, they have a very, now, did you saw the, the, the new ones coming out? Even the, uh, they look, they, they look like cars and, 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 and uh, they look like cars and, uh, and trucks. Oh. It, they, it makes the lights, it's, it's like this. It's, yeah. The I light's not that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, all these cars are like, you know what I mean? That's why sometimes you look at these, like a Land Rover or a Mercedes brand new, mm -hmm. they're 70. 
How much do you think a truck costs? Mm -hmm. They're like 16, 70 grand now too, which is oh, yeah. absolutely yeah, easy, crazy. Easy, you know? easy. So. But, but it is, so what, what I think is that Americans need to wake up yeah. and they need to um, come to a conclusion that if you don't defend what, you, what it's yours and what you fight for, what your ancestors fought for, you're gonna lose it. And they're going away. Yeah. Well, well, that's that, that's how it's going. I have a little. I have. I have one thing. I was actually surprised. I was watching this. I was actually surprised during the Super Bowl. Um, a lot of I, the coach of Philadelphia was actually there crying when the mm -hmm. um, you know national anthem was playing. Never seen that before. You know, we had all this controversy in football about people kneeling, and then people didn't want to kneel and all mm -hmm. this. But to see that guy. And there was an, uh, there were others there as well. Mm -hmm. um, maybe people are trying to finally seeing that you have a good thing here. Yeah. You know, we 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 look at it, and you know, you've been to other places. I've only been to like five different countries, but this country, even over Canada, we have a better standard of living here mm -hmm. than in Canada. Canada probably has it, but you have to make a lot of money to live in Canada. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive there. So when you come here, and then all these people are coming here. They're still coming here every year, but we're told this country is terrible, it's a racist, mm -hmm. it's a this country, it's a that country, it's this country. Why do people continue to come here? Why? Mm -hmm. So there's, you know, we gotta like step back and look at this and say, we can't keep on listening to this, really what's called propaganda, yep. playing, you know what I mean, that this is a country, it's a colonial, it's this, it's that. It, it, then it's funny how, how we say that uh, that's a bad country, but everybody else sees it as a good country. Yeah. Well, so they all I'm the come one here. living in here. Yeah. So I'm, I'm the one living in here. Come, I see it's a bad country when everybody else is, you know, they were killed to get here. Yep. You know, they, they, they will, they will probably, they know and they, they may die trying yeah. to get here, but they, they, they try to it. get here. Yeah. They still do it. You know. So uh, that's that's something that, you know, that sometimes I, I, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah. I, uh, well, yeah. that's, that's, you know, it is. It's this new thing that's out there, that out with the old. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we, we could change mm -hmm. into these other countries. If you get everybody from other countries to come here and bring their stuff that's not working, yeah. that's just a disaster. No, you know? and just like, every, like every, everything else, you know, and we had a chance to talk about this. We, Portuguese, and I, I talk about Portugal because... You know, I, I, I'm a very... Yeah, you're familiar with it and stuff, right? Familiar with, the, with that, but is, if I want to do what I was doing in Portugal, if yeah. I want to go to the feasts that they have in Portugal, I go there. Yeah. You know, yeah. This, this is a different, that's why I moved over here, because it was different. Yeah. Okay? Because it was different. So, that's why a lot of this, this Portuguese things, I said, you know, they want to, to move that they want to move this this car not coming this way because I have a procession. That's the country. That's yeah. this street. Yeah. It's the car. You know, I'm trying. I, I'm the one that got here, so I have to move out of the way. It's the country. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And and that's why I'm against a lot of stuff that we bring from here. It works good there. Yeah. If I miss, I go there. Yeah. It's like now in May. I like the Santo Cristo feast. I go there. Yeah. That's the Se the Santo Cristo feast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I'm I not going to bring the Santo Cristo feast yeah. in here. Uh, uh, no, no, I hear you. I hear you with that. I think that's just a tradition. Um, you know what I mean? But I'm talking about changing things, laws uh, I and know, stuff like that. I know the laws, like like now, the, the way the things going around. Uh, uh, I, I don't I don't see too far that the man, a uh, uh, 50 year old, can get married with a 10 year old girl. You know the way the things going. You know the way the things go, and this was this was probably the the biggest thing on the Constitution. Yeah. Okay. That that uh, 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 fathers put there to make sure it's gold. Yeah. Okay. Oh. It's sealed in gold. Yeah. But they try, and they're going to try. It, it, it's like Portuguese Portuguese say that the água bate tanto na pedra que part. It's the, the water is going to is going to uh, uh, drain on the same plate. That's going to is going to the the rocks going to give. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's yep. that's a 
Portuguese yeah. saying yeah, that sense. someone it's, it, it, at one point it's going to break up. It's going to break up. Yeah. So th th they keep trying and they keep trying. Yeah. They keep trying, and one day yeah. they're going to get it what they yeah. want. You well, know. I'm probably not going to be around by then, but I mean, you got to feel bad for your kids. Is just is. realizing the past 20 years. Yeah. Where we were t 20 years ago yeah. and where we are today. Well, you're, you're gonna lot, get all this stuff was a runt, yeah. John. All no, this stuff that's going on no, now I was know. a runt. I know. But it was covered. was covered. Yeah. was their problem. was their life. We had yeah. nothing to do with it. Yeah. Now they're swallowing down your throat every yeah. time you open a, page, uh, uh, a paper. It's like it's normal. It's not normal for me. Yeah. But the, I think the thing is what you're going to probably find is Americans are looking at it, you know what I mean, that have been around for a bit. I think I read a lot of things in the paper mm -hmm. or in uh, articles and stuff about, you know, people that are here that aren't even from Portugal that are moving there. They might have the ancestry and they figure they're going there. And I think a lot of people that are from here, I mean, you know, that are from here, but are from there and came here, some of them are going back because they're like, this is not the same, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, place I yes. came to 50 years ago or 30 you, years ago. Exactly, because they came over here with the mentality and they changed, they didn't change their mentality that yep. especially the respect. The kid, doesn't matter how old the kid is, you know, it's, it's uh, Portuguese people are very sentimental yeah. and a lot of things means a lot to them. Yeah. If, if you go to a house, doesn't matter how old you are, they, oh. doesn't matter how old you are, you need to respect your father. Yeah. You don't swear in front of your father. Yeah. You don't they say anything that your father cannot hear, yeah. okay, or don't like to hear. That's the respect. And because they're losing that, yeah. they say this is not a country for me. They, this country is changing my kids. Well, there you have it. Have a good night now. Have a good night.